so here we are. BBR finals against OG Albina, Owen, and his Carolina Roaring Moon, who's also the commissioner of the TGS, the other league that we were playing in tandem with the BBR, the Showdown League. But here we are, and you guys can see our team on screen. Uh, you can see some of Owen's team, not all of it. I can actually go through it right now with you really quickly. And uh, we'll go through all of his mons, so I'm just going to go to the, the beginning here. So we have Dio Speed, Enamorous, Iron Hands, Crook, Tenacruel, uh, the Dunsparts, which, which is Terra, Water, or I want to say Ghost. Yeah, Water or Ghost. And then we have Klefki, Shaman, Gengar, and Volbeat. Now, these last four I don't think are going to show up. Shaman has a chance. Gengar has a chance. Klefki is like the least likely of all of them. Uh, but I really think that the top six being Dio Speed, Enamorous, Iron Hands, Crook, Cruel, and the Dunsparce are the most likely to come to this game after having run some mocks and uh, we have prep suitable for them so as you can see our team is uh, is quite interesting uh, I'm rocking an iron defense elements I'm rocking a uh, choice scarf spectre into crocodile to dun sparse uh, I'm rocking adrenaline adrenaline orb defiant thundy which is our lead this week hopefully he leads with crook because this thing can just super sweep uh, we have assault vest tusk lefties encore Uxie, and uh, a muck with Haze and Toxic uh, on it, as well as Poison Jab, and I believe Knock Off. I can actually go to my team real quick so you guys can see these sets. Sorry, no, it's Haze, Toxic, Pain Split uh, with Poison Jab. So obviously, it's kind of blocked by a Steel type, but the only Steel type on Owen's team uh, is, of course, the Clef Key, which I'm not too worried about. So uh, everything else, this hits, and it hits pretty well, uh, considering its moveset. Then we have uh, Yuxi with the Noise. The U-Turn, the Encore, and the Stealth Rocks. Untouchable with an AV with EQ, Iron Head, Volt, and Rapid Spin. Few uh, moves I considered over Iron Head were like Body Press uh, for the Dedun Sparse and the Crocodile Dedun Sparse Pre-Terra, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah, there was one other move. Uh, I think it was just Heavy Slam was the other consideration. I opted for Iron Head because flinches can actually be pretty important here. Uh, then we have the Thunderous. Like I said, we have Acro Supercell Slam, which I know Owen hates as a move. Uh, Zen Head, but we'll see if it bites us. <laughs> like he always thinks it will. Uh, Zen Bulk Up, and uh, we are defiant with Adrenaline Orb with a uh, very unique spread, as you can see. Uh, and then we have Salamence with <laughs> Iron Defense, Dual Wing Beat, and Earthquake. This thing is only pressured really by the Enamorous and Dio Speed if it has Ice Beam. Uh, Tentacruel doesn't knock it out or anything, and it gets destroyed by Earthquake. I should be faster than Cruel and Crook, uh, assuming no Scarves as well. And uh, finally, Spectre with Shadow Ball Psychic and then Will-O-Wisp and Haze. Uh, I ran into a few Cosmic Power Deoxys that were problematic. That's why I'm running Double Haze on the Spectre and on the Muck. And, uh, and yeah, that's the whole team. Uh, so we're going to click start here. Uh, Owen's just about ready, and we're going to get these finals underway. Regardless of the outcome, thank you guys so much for being here all season. I really appreciate all the support, all the views, all the comments, the likes. Uh, thank you guys so much. If you haven't done that already for this video, make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel, or if this has been a journey that you've gone on with us to this finals match, then make sure to subscribe for future content. There is more coming. I promise you this isn't the end. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, let's see what he brought. Okay, we see, oh, the keys in the Shaman are here. Wow, all right. So no Enamorous, interestingly. Uh, no Gengar, no Volbeat. Uh, noted Unsparse, which is great because that means Shadow Ball spam. Uh, and we don't have to worry about a normal type. And then, yeah, the rest is D6, right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, all right, let's change that on the other window. So Enamorous is actually... Uh, Clef King, I guess, because that's the fairy. And then the Dunsparce is uh, Shaman uh, with a capital S. And we're going to change this color to the dark blue that's everywhere else. There we go. And we're going to lead with Thunderous. Uh, and I have 42 seconds. Good. So we could see Clef King. He has no ghost. Um, so I'm not worried about uh, being spin blocked, so that's cool. So clef key isn't a huge issue, uh, unless it's some sort of setup clef key, but then again I have Haze Muck, so I don't see that being problematic either. Uh, so yeah, I think we're just going to go in with these six, and well, obviously these six, <laughs> that's what we brought to the game, but um, yeah, I think we're just going to lead with the Thunderous and see if it pans out. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Finals. Lead crook, lead crook, lead crook. <laughs> Come on. Lead crook. Hakari? 
Okay, that is cleft key. All right, so no lead crook. Interesting. Um, so I think in this, I'm just good to go to treads, right? That should be pretty free. Uh, we see primary physical attackers being crook and iron hands. Uh, Shaman is a great switch into treads. Keep that in mind. Uh, now I don't have to switch. I could actually just like bulk up and then supercell. Because this thing's at damage output is not that high. And I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to scout what this thing wants to do here. So it is going to go for the light screen. Interesting. So we're going to go for bulk up. So who is he trying to set up with? This looks like an Iron Hands angle, which I'd be okay with. I think we're just going to Supercell here. Uh, I could bulk up again. I kind of like that because this thing is dual screens, right? It doesn't even matter. So yeah, we're going to bulk again. There's the Reflect. Now we could totally see a Steel Beam here to knock itself out. I don't think he switches at this point. And I'm plus two defense, so I'm not too worried if Crook comes in on Slam. So I'm just going to go for it. And we'll see what he decides to do from here. I'm just going to switch windows. Bring up Clef Key. So this is Light Clay. Withdraws. Okay. What are we going into? Gojo? Who's Gojo? That is the Deoxys. And we are immediately going to get off a huge Supercell Slam here. That is going to do over half. And we're going to take some Rocky Helmet Chip. Uh, however, I'm not too worried about this, I want to say. Because I don't think I'd die to anything if this thing is Rocky Helmet and if it took that little from plus two Slam. I'm going to calc that. Thunderous to the Deoxys Speed. Deoxys Speed Hazard lead, let's say. Supercell Slam at plus two would normally destroy this thing. Uh, max HP even takes less than that. So this thing is, like, very defensive. So we could see a recover here. I think I'm just going to keep slamming, though. This is a Psychic, okay. This is not going to knock me out in the slightest. And we're going to see the Supercell Slam knock out the Deoxys, so that thing is down. Beautiful. And we know that the clef key is, of course, uh, whoops. Give me a sec here, guys. Clef key is reflect and light screen. Light screen. So I think my man is baiting me to click slam again. So I'm just going to go for Zen headbutt and hope he switches to crook and show him what's up. Now, this thing could also be, like, scarfed, I guess. Uh, although I doubt it. Thundy has already put in a massive amount of work. The Dio is dead. We got information from the Clef Key. And it's very possible... Okay, so it is scarfed. Huh. Why is it scarfed Tentacruel on this build? <laughs> okay. Well, our Thundy didn't work out the exact way I wanted it to. However, uh, now, I think we just get up rocks and just go from there, right? There shouldn't be anything wrong with this play. I could alternatively U-turn on the Crook, but I could end up like triggering, triggering a random weakness policy, I guess. That would be kind of bad. Um, so it's locked into Ice Beam. I do have AV treads, but his screens are still up. So I think my priority now becomes get up rocks and deal with his team from there. So let's do that. Let's swap in Yuxi. So that is a Choice Scarf Tentacruel. That is wild to me. But we are going to get a Brox. This is going to be a withdraw. I'm assuming Crook's going to come in. So this thing is Ice Beam Choice Scarf. Ice Beam. It's the Shaman that comes in. Choice Scarf. Now on this, because there's no Enamorous, I'm I'm thinking my muck is like completely free. So that's what I'm gonna go into. 
I'm not even going to bother U-turning because, um, one, I don't want to take the damage on my Uxie if I can avoid it. It's really good for hands later if I have to use my Salamence into the Crook, for example. And uh, also, um, Muck takes nothing from this. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is pretty free. Plus, I don't want to trigger weakness policy. That was the other thing. Just in case this thing is random weakness policy behind screens. I want to get off a Toxic on it. Then I want to haze it and do all that, that stuff. And that should be fine. So we are going to switch here. And uh, now we're going to find out what this Shaman is. We're going to see Seed Flare here. Okay. Does not get the Spit F drop. Cool. Uh, and right here, we're going to go for a Toxic. We could see the Clef Key come back in, which is what I'm assuming is going to happen here. We could also see Crook. Very possible. Mojito. That is Crook. Okay, that's great. Do we see Intimidate? No. So this is Moxie. Okay, cool. So that's really good to know. Um, yeah, because I'm keeping my Uxie uh, pretty healthy, Hands is checked. So I'm good to go into Salamence here and just get off an Intimidate and play it from there. So the light screen wears off, so the Reflect wears off next turn. Uh, our Muck's sitting at 380. Uh, I'm good to go into, into Mence here. I'm faster than non-scarfed variants of Crook. And... Uh, we also have the Rocky Helmet and Iron Defense. So, this should be perfectly fine here. I'm gonna get off the Intimidate. Here's the knockoff. That is a lot of damage. Is that a crit? No, we're gonna calc that. That is an Intimidated Crocodile doing nearly half. So it's hurt by its poison. How much are we at? Let me see. 367 minus 235. Uh, 367 minus 235. 132 damage after Intimidate. Intimidate applied. Um, so he's like black glasses or something. I don't think he's choice banned. He's either, he could, it could be adamant actually. Yeah, this is adamant high roll. Okay. Cool, so I think we just click um, Earthquake here, honestly, because the Reflect just went down. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll EQ. Out goes the Crook. Does the Clef Key come in? Hakari, is this the Clef Key? I think it is, right? Yes. Okay, cool, so we catch the Clef Key, which is awesome. This is gonna be a free Earthquake here. How much does this do? Decent amount. We don't see any item. Um, however, this isn't something that I really want to stay in on. Uh, his team's not threatening, man. That's the thing. His team has, like, no threats other than the hands, and I can just encore that. So, that's kind of what I want to do. Alternatively, I can just go for another Earthquake here. And just say, screw it. Um, and put this thing in Rock's range. Which is actually what I'm going to do. So we see the Reflect go up. That's fine. So here's the Earthquake. Okay. So it's not in Rock's range yet. Um, but we could just go for another Earthquake here. Alternatively, I can Roost this turn. To burn an extra turn of screens before I knock this out. Which is probably what I'm going to do. Yeah. So here's the Light Screen. Now, we might even see a, um, I have the crook at about, like, 60. I'm just gonna adjust that real quick. And my rocks are up, so that's good. Um, I think I'm actually gonna switch instead of staying in. We could see Steel Beam come out here. Tentacruel I'm not worried about because it's Scarfed and I have a Muck. Iron Hands, I just go in and Intimidate it. And then switch out to Uxie, I guess. Or Iron Defense. Either one's fine. So yeah, I think I just switched to Treads. Burn an extra turn of the screen. And the Clef Key's super low as well. I didn't actually check its, uh, its health. But... It's at exactly 15 or like 14. So we catch him on a Thunder Wave turn. That's cool. Um, we're going to go for the Volt Switch here. 
Uh, his immunity is crook, and I just bring in uh, Ments again on that. So I just Volt. So we see the withdrawal. Is this going to be Shaman? Let's see. Hanami. That is Shaman. Sweet. That takes rocks. We get a Volt switch off on that. Does nothing, obviously. He's sitting at 85, so we'll put Shaman down to 85. Boom, boom. Uh, Clef Key, we said, was at 15, right? Or like 14. So there we go. And now at this point, it's just muck again. Earth power doesn't bother me. So muck comes in, gets its black sludge. Sweet. Uh, and now at this point, uh, I think I just poison jab. Uh, let me see if earth power into plus two earth power could knock me out. Shaman versus muck. Uh, into plus two could, yeah. Okay, so no, we're just going to Toxic again. This is fine. If he goes Crook, we just do the same thing. So here's Leech Seed. That's that's A-OK -okay with me. There's going to be a Toxic that cannot miss. Obviously, this thing is Natural Cure, so uh, we're not getting much out of this. Uh, but Leech Seed, Seed Flare is what we've seen, right? So I'm trying to keep track of the moves. Seed Flare and Leech Seed is all we've seen. So this thing is going to get back some health. Basically, it's going to lose it to rocks anyway. It's not a big deal. Uh, but now at this point, uh, I think I'm good to... I don't want to be seated as the crook comes in. But I guess it doesn't matter all that much, right? Once crook is low enough, I kind of just win with Spectrier. I'm pretty sure. So I think I just poison jab for damage. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if he stays in. He does not. He does go Crook. So he's going to take um, Poison. Wait, Hakari. Oh, the keys. Okay. No, that's a good play. That's a good play. Yeah, I get it. I get it. All right. Like, I mean, I get it, but we're just going to go into, uh, like, a non-stop loop at this point. So he's going to get back quite a bit of health here, actually. I want to see how much this thing ends up at. Muck is blocking the whole damn screen. All right. Uh, you're at 24 now. Okay, so you get back 10% from Leech Seed for me. Cool. Good to know. Um, I mean, yeah, this is just... Yeah, this is just... Um, treads again. Really, that's, that's all it is. It's just treads. Uh, I have to check the screen's turns. See how many are left. Soon. Fairy lock, huh? Yeah, no, that's not happening. Um, yeah, we're gonna iron head here. Uh, I should be faster than the shaman, I think. Yeah, I'm EV to uh, speed tie and amorous, so I'm faster than shaman, and we know it's not choice. No leech seed choice shaman in my future. Okay. So we're gonna iron head this thing. It's not gonna knock it out because of the reflect. And now he's going to get his Reflect back up, I guess? But I can just Volt, right? What is he trying to do here? At least if I keep the light screen off, I think I'm good? Yeah, let's just Earthquake. Screw it. All right, that's fine. Let the, let the Clef Key go down here. I'm tired of this thing. Getting up screens on me. All right, down goes the keys. That's good. I don't think the Shaman can solo my team. There's only so many screens turns. Light screen is gone. So there's a Spectrier that's looking ready to sweep in the back with a Crook that's at about 60 and toxic with rocks up. Here's Hanami. This is the uh, Shaman, of course. And at this point, da, 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 I'm just trying to think. That's one Reflect turn. We have one to seven turns. This takes three turns. I'm trying to calculate if I Iron Head, Rapid Spin, Volt Switch. Uh, because I am a V, right? So I, and I, this is for nothing else. This is literally for nothing else at this point. So I think I'm just gonna Iron Head, try to get a flinch. I'm gonna do a little bit of damage. We're probably gonna see Leech Seed. This is Rocky Helmet, of course. Something to consider. There's the seeds. 
And so he's going to get back some health. He's probably Synthesis third move, right? And what's the last? I think I'm just going to Volt here. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that, huh? Crook can come in. This is probably good positioning for Crocodile. Okay, so he doesn't go into it. His Shaman's sitting at 72-ish. Uh, I keep track of that. That's not Shaman, that's Shaman. Oh, wrong way. So 72. Uh, and yeah, we are going to go to Muck. And if he chooses to attack this turn, then we're fine. Could see an Earth Power here. Healing Wish. Okay. All right, so down goes the Shaman. <laughs> we don't have to deal with that anymore. So what's coming in, Crook? Uh, he could save the Healing Wish by going into Hands. Save it for Crook for later. Or he could go Crook right now. This is probably... This is Crook, right? Yeah, this is Crook. Okay. So the Poison wears off. Now, I'm a little bit concerned with, like, bulk up Crook. Does Crook get bulk up? It does. So that's, like, a little bit concerning. Just just a touch. Uh, I want to see if Crook knocks Muck out from here. From Crocodile. Adamant. 100%. Muck is gone. <laughs> Muck is completely gone. Okay, so... I think we're still going to go to Salamence here because we still have the Iron Defense, right? At the end of the day, if he's bulk up, it's not the end of the world. We just ID and then we try to wear it down with dual wing beat, right? So yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. So his Crook's back up to full. Got to put it at full. Shaman's gone, though. Tentacruel comes in at 88. Iron Hands comes in at 94. Here's the Intimidate. What are we going to see? It is bulk up. Okay. So, I was a little bit concerned with this, but at the end of the day, I think I beat this 1v1 through Iron Defense. So, right now he's at neutral, right? So, if I switch out as he bulks up again, I could go Spec. Because Spec at this point doesn't look like it needs to be the win con, right? Crocodile. So you're bulk up, right? How much do you do to me with knockoff if you're burned? If he's plus one and burned, he still knocks me out. And then he's moxie, right? So that's definitely a concern. Um, I could also haze later. So, oh, actually, yeah, you know what? I got it. I, I got the sequence. I know what it is. So we're going to Iron Defense here. Boost our defense. There's another bulk up. So obviously I'm not going to be doing a, a crap ton of damage to this thing once it's at full unless I start getting crits. Uh, but the same goes for him, right? He's not going to be re doing real damage to me until he starts critting me. So at this point, I'm just going to start dual wing beating. He's at plus two defense. So he's not going to take too much from this, but it's still a stab dual wing beat. Like it's still going to create progress on his crook. So, as you can see, not much damage at all, but it is slowly chipping. Here is Scale Shot. Okay. So that's kind of bad. <laughs> this is Dice. This is Dice Shot. That's crazy. Hit four times. Okay. So his defense falls. His speed rises. Uh, so now I can't do the haze play anymore. So now I ha kind of have to hit the panic button. Which is... Uh, switch hard into muck and haze. If he scale shots again, I can go back to crook, lower him back down. So yeah, that's going to be my play. Uh, switch to muck. This is a really cool set. Okay. So this is dangerous. This is definitely danger. I could lose to this. I hadn't seen this. So this is another bulk up. All right. Now, keep in mind... So, wait. So, he's bulk up, scale shot, knock off, EQ, right? That's the moves? 
It's gotta be. I think we still go back to Mens. Yeah, I think we still go back to Mens. Intimidate this again. And then back to Muck, back to Mens kind of thing, right? And then I just have to call him out on a turn, essentially. And we know he's Moxie, so... Here's Earthquake. All right. So we got two Intimidate drops. Oh, right, the Reflect was still up. That's why he was taking so little. Uh, but I'm still going to go back to Muck. Because I want to drop his attack even further for Yuxi, essentially. All right, so here's Bulk Up. I think he never has, has to risk it, right? Well, actually, no, he only has off one sh a scale shot. So now I know what my play is, right? He's only scale shotted once. So now what I do is... Yeah, that's the play. Okay, we know we know what the play is. Uh, can I win with Yuxi doing that, though? Because I'd have to take a knockoff. So yeah, I think I just Toxic... I could Haze as well. Uh, Haze is probably the better play, right? If he sets up again or if he goes for a scale shot. No, I think having this time on a th this thing on a timer is more important. Uh, yeah, I think so. We'll Toxic. Okay, so here's the EQ. So this is going to knock me out, obviously. But the play here is I'm going to go into Spectre here. I'm going to go for Haze, get rid of all of his boosts, and his Crook at neutral versus Spec. Uh, let me just see something. Does Knock Off knock me out? Yes. So he'd get another Moxie boost, but then I'd go into Yuxi, Encore, U-Turn into Salamence, and then Roost Up. And then from there, I should be good. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. So here comes Spectre. Kind of surprised he brought this set into like Terra Fairy uh, Scrafty. I thought Scrafty could beat this. But yeah, we should be faster here because he only scale shotted once. And now we just haze. We let him get the boost. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure Yuxi lives knockoff because it's max fizz def. I just want to check. Uh, from Max Adamant. Uh, he has a roll that kills me. <laughs> so I'm going to have to be careful about that. Uh, but yeah, we are just going to fire off the Haze here. Scarfed Haze. So we get rid of all the stat changes. Here's the knockoff. That's fine. His speed is no longer boosted. He's going to get his plus one. Uh, now I have an option. I can go Yuxi. Or I can go Treads. If I would have had Body Press on this right now, would have been damn nice. Um, so he's at plus one. I can bring him back down to minus one. Uh, but I think I just go Yuxi, Encore, U-Turn. But then I have nothing for his hands, right? Eh, not necessarily. Thing is, he gets up to plus two. If I let him do that. Then back down to plus one. And then his knockoff's gonna do a lot to Mints. Yeah. It's rough. Um, it's gotta be Yuxi, though. I think it's gotta be Yuxi, and it's gotta be a... An Encore here. To keep him from getting fast. Um, do I lose to Cruel? I think I might, actually. <laughs> I think I lose to, to Tentacruel. So here's the knockoff. This shouldn't take me out. Just about. Then we're going to Encore. All right. Uh, now, I could go Treads, but that seems like death. Um, 
Yeah, that's like instant death. So I actually have to let this thing knock me out, I think. And then get off the Intimidate and then Roost. Or go tre uh, Treads is better? I think Treads is better. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, whoops. Click the wrong move, but it doesn't matter. He's just going to knock me out here. All right. It's a dead Uxie. Yeah, this is a great set. Wow, what a crook. Nice job, man. You going to put crook in your thumbnail two weeks in a row? <laughs> Come on. All right, we're going to go Ments. We're going to see if this is enough to live a plus one... Um, plus one knockoff. I don't think it is. Even though I'm itemless. He's at plus one because he got two moxie boosts, right? So I could have burned him to get residual all this time. But he'd essentially be at like plus three by now. Or plus four. So I don't know if that would have made a difference. So we're going to get off a roost here. Here's the knockoff. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so now I have to go for an iron defense here. Here it is. Here's the knockoff. Does not too much. The encore ends. So now we're probably going to see scale shot. Um, yeah, I can't do anything. I got a roost. I lose to this. Yep. GG Stone. Yeah, like he has to miss scale shot like three times in a row, I think, for me to, to win this. And that's a hit. And it should be dice, right? I haven't seen an item, so it's adamant dice. It's a great set. Oh, it's not. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Speed Rose. So we're going to go for a Roost. Here's the scale. We need it to only hit twice. Hits three times. All right, well, he got more than two hits every time on a non-dice uh, crook, which is kind of impressive, honestly. It's just like, I guess this crook loves him, but that's that's it. That's finals, guys. We tried. Uh, I hadn't run into this team yet, so obviously I didn't have any idea of what his prep could be, but uh, very good crook set, excellent prep, and uh, give it up to Owen. He is your BBR Season 7 champion. I will take runner-up. This is my first Wi-Fi league back. I'd like to win a league on camera at some point. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, but uh, for today, that is not the case. So GG to Owen. Go and check him out in the description, guys. His link will be there. He makes excellent content. If you don't know OG Albina and you're in the draft com community, what are you doing? If you haven't been on his channel yet, dude's on like 3K subs. Go show him some love. He makes great content on this platform for this community. So you're going to enjoy it, I swear. And uh, if you guys did enjoy, as usual, make sure to leave a like for us. Subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel, or otherwise if you're coming here from Owen's video, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. More videos to come. See ya!